Howdy, it's Mr. Pete, your internet shop teacher, and boy, is it cold and windy today. It's in November. Perhaps you can hear the wind howling. But anyway, it's a sad day for me because yet another machine is leaving the shop. Yes, I sold the South Bend 10-inch heavy. I told you I was clearing out. I put it on Craigslist. It sold within a day. And my buddy, John, bought it not far from here, five miles from here, the man that took me on the John Deere Combine and the man who owns the locomotive. I've shown videos on that. But anyway, they're coming in just a few minutes if the weather isn't too bad and picking up the machine. I hope they bring a low trailer. And I've really cleared this shop out, haven't I, this summer. All of these accessories and chucks here and what's in the box, of course, goes with the machine. I'm going to have a lot of room in here, am I not? Remember I sold uh, another machine that sat here, a Craftsman lathe not too long ago. I sold the Road Shaper that sat between these two machines and I sold all three of my hit and miss engines to Jimmy DeResta. You may recall that video. So I'll have a little more room in here so I'm going to move the probably move the closing over on the other side of the shaper and then get the shaper right underneath the light for when I start my video series. I still have the Craftsman bandsaw which I have no intention of selling. None of this other stuff is going to be sold so you don't need to ask me about that. So now I'm waiting for John and his son-in-law to, to show up to load this. I told them I cannot lift. I hope they bring somebody with them or some equipment. Maybe they'll take the lathe off of the cabinet. I'm not sure. Well, it's two days later. We had quite a windstorm the other day and had to uh, postpone this. It's, it's calmed down and it's 55 degrees and here comes John with his son-in-law. He's got a, kind of a low boy trailer. I th hope it'll be okay. He should be pretty good at backing, being a farmer. We had it up there and it pulled out. We had it kind of temporary. Okay, try that. Give me a second, I'm going to use this one quick. It's a little tight. Okay, try that. On there. Pretty good. Those 
the legs are fine down low. It's bolted to that. And then it needs to be iron. That's going to go through the bed. That's what it is. Okay. If you have to go, the bed goes over there. You got enough room to do that? I already have seller's remorse. And my lathe disappears in a cloud of smoke, like the Wizard of Oz. Well, as I wrap this video up, I have a rhetorical question for you viewers out there. Whatever am I going to do with all this extra room? I'll do a little rearranging here, but it left a big hole in my garage and a big hole in my heart. This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now.